What's up guys and welcome back to Planet 2. Today I got on and honestly I was not sure what I was going to do. I didn't know what kind of an exhibit I wanted to make. I didn't know what kind of a habitat that I was going to create or what new animals we were going to invite into our zoo. But uh, I actually think I found two really good lion options. So uh, you guys can see right here Obataye. He's a, a level 9,000 on his, his like desirableness, I guess you can say, his, his hype level. And um, he's got some pretty good stats here. Fertility is one of the more important things to me. And it looks like he's very, very fertile. So we're going to go ahead and pick him up. Please tell me. Yes, we got him. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm, I'm so excited about this. And then I was also looking, we've got uh, Keo, Keo Nine here. She's also at 9,000. Genetics aren't quite as good, but... She looks super, super solid, and uh, we're going to go ahead and adopt her. Oh my goodness, dude. I have been looking forward to getting into some of the more exciting animals, lions and giraffes and all kinds of stuff like that. We're going to get some pandas, and you know, obviously there are a lot of other ones that we're going to have to work our way towards, but lions, these are, are some of the, the biggest, most exciting animals you can have in a zoo, and I can't believe that they're actually ours. Let me check our storage. I just want to make sure... Look at that, dude. We've got two lions in there. So they're both 3.5 years old. We've got a male and a female. Hopefully, they're going to get along with each other. I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I'm really kind of banking a lot on them doing the deed and, and, you know, getting us some babies. So I was taking a look at the... Uh, Taking a look at the, the info here, you guys can see they mature at three years old, so they're both adults already. They live to be about 14 years old, but if they live beyond that, they actually become sterile at 15 years old. And they get one to three offspring per mating event. Uh, as for group size, you can have one male and up to 29 females. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully some good things come out of this, and um, I guess I guess we'll just see what happens. So where are we going to put a lion exhibit is the question. I mean, this is going to be one of our major draws. I've, I've got a feeling we're going to see the, the number of people in our zoo spike here. So we're, we're currently at 1710. Keep, uh, keep an eye on that number. But uh, I'm thinking, I mean, we're going to need some big space. I really don't want people to walk too far. I don't think we really have a choice. I think we're going to have to build it out here somewhere. I'm, I'm thinking like maybe over here could be kind of interesting. I think that's our only option. So they need a grade three climb proof fence. It's over 10 feet tall and they need at least 705 square meters of space. They don't need any water. They don't need any climbing. They need it to be about the temperature that it is outside. All right. Looks looks good to me. Um, so let's, let's just get into this. I'm going to get into our barriers. I think, uh, what's grade three? Technically the wood logs are grade three, but I think, uh, I think I'm going to go with the steel mesh here. I just, I like, I like the sound of that a little bit better. So we've got this and let's, uh, let's just go ahead and start. Do we want to have them backed up against the bears? I guess we could. So I'm trying to think of a way to make this a really cool overlook. Like again, the lions, they're, they're a massive addition to the zoo. So we're going to need... People are going to be, they're going to need to see them. They're going to need to have a really good view. So I think um, let's let's bring out our path tool here. I guess, I mean, first things first, we're going to want to expand this a little bit. How wide is this? 10 meters? Is that the full 10? Oh, yeah, that thing is, that thing is thick. So I'm just going to extend this, expand, extend, whatever. Expand it straight out. Is that pretty straight there? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. So we've got that straight out. Now I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're going to kind of do it like the, the crocodiles over here. I don't know how much people actually use that, though. I don't know. I, I just I want people to, to really be able to see them. You know what I mean? I also want to put Pride Rock in there. So hold on. Let me, let me see our blueprints. I want to see how big Pride Rock is. Okay, so yeah, Pr Pride Rock is going to be... This is going to be massive. $9,000 on that. And it looks like they've got... That's like a little shelter bedding area in there interesting okay but there's no way through it to, I, I think we might need to make a pathway through to the back if we can can we delete some of these and make a path out yeah i think that's what we're gonna do so we'll worry about that in a second but we're gonna dude this is gonna be crazy so i think i'm gonna bring it off like this and we're gonna go uh we're gonna need to to raise this a little bit i don't want to make it too steep but at the same time, we need to get it up there. So I'm going to make sure that this is straight, just like so. And then we can bring it down. And like I said, we're just going to make, I guess we can make this wider now. 
I just want to make like a, a little overlook spot so people can really, really see these guys because obviously they're they're kind of a big deal. So we've got that. Now we're gonna take our uh, gonna take our steel mesh barrier again, and we're just gonna run it along here. So we're starting to kind of come together here a little bit. I've actually got a, a pretty good idea of what to do with Pride Rock. I actually, I think we might want, this is getting kind of expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. I think we might want one more here and then we'll bring it back. And basically I'm gonna make Pride Rock kind of like their, their cave system and we're actually gonna have the habitat gate come off the far back side. So this should, uh, this should be pretty interesting. I'm trying to make sure that this is all lined up here. So if we bring this this way, got that. And then we can line these up like that. And then we can connect this last little piece here. Looks good to me. And now we are gonna have to make this entire thing at least 10 feet tall. So it's currently two meters. I say we bring it up to, to five meters just to be safe. So we've got that there. And then now we need to, uh, we need to get all of these. Bring it up to five meters. Looks good to me. I actually, I think, uh, that's actually the, that's the, the size of the, the bear fence that we had previously. So that's perfect. So we're just gonna keep it at five meters just to be a little bit safe, but that looks pretty good there. These, we are gonna have to put double-sided no climbing on there. There should be in settings, climb proof on both sides. And then everything else, we're gonna need to make climb proof on the inside. Bam, just like that. All right, so that's that's our foundation. Now what we're gonna do is, like I said, I, do, I definitely wanna have Pride Rock in here. We need Pride Rock in here. So we're gonna grab Pride Rock here. Doesn't look as big now, which is nice. That means we made our, our habitat big enough. And what we're gonna do is we we actually, we may have made the habitat too big. You definitely don't want it to be too big because then, then people are never actually gonna see the lions roaming around. So I think we're gonna place that there. I'm gonna build more of a cave on the backside as well. And we're actually, I think, I think we're gonna cut we're gonna cut this section off. All right, so obviously this this Pride Rock is beautiful here, but I do wanna make it a little bit more usable, I guess. I mean, technically they might, we actually, we might need to, we might need to move this down into the ground a little bit, might make a bit more sense. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it like that. I feel like it works a little bit better. They, they might be able to climb these and jump over here, but really I don't know how they're gonna get back in here. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna, gonna excavate back here and we are gonna take out all of these rocks on the backside and we're gonna kinda expand this into more of a, a cave system. And we're also gonna put the habitat gate back here because we already have an employee area back here. So this is actually kind of genius. I didn't really plan this out, but it all worked out instead. So like we can put a habitat gate right here. Looks good to me. And then we're gonna be able to grab some of our, our staff paths. Definitely don't need it to be that wide. We're gonna be able to grab a staff path and we can just kind of snake it on through here. And bada bing, all of a sudden the staff over in this area are gonna be able to just run back and take care of the lions, which is gonna be really nice. So again, I'm gonna keep going through here. We're gonna delete a lot of these. This side isn't really facing the public, so I don't think it really matters that much. Whoever made this, I apologize for destroying your beautiful creation, but it's gonna be well worth it. So I'm actually gonna delete all of these rocks and I'm gonna turn it more into a, a little a little hill, I think. I don't think we can delete that one. We're probably good. We're good where we're at here. So I'm gonna grab our terrain tool and we're just gonna kinda, you know, not too intense and definitely not that big, but we're just gonna kinda bring, bring the ground up to make this a little bit more natural. Why is that not working? But yeah, we're just gonna have this be kind of like a, a subtle decline back here. And then what we're gonna do is, what, what types of rocks are these? Savannah rocks. We're gonna come into our, uh, into our nature. We're gonna grab some more savannah rocks and we're basically gonna turn this entire back area into a giant cave. And that's gonna be where the, the staff can enter. Okay, so this actually turned out super sick. I feel kind of bad because nobody's ever really gonna see it. Like none of the actual visitors or guests are gonna see it, but it is really nice for our animals. And uh, I think they're really gonna enjoy it. So check this out. You come down in here and look at this. We've got this little staff area, staff access point back here. I'm thinking maybe we put their like food down here or something. And uh, I mean, this is pretty sweet. Now the one thing that's left is we do have to find a point of entry for these guys. So I'm gonna set up a, kind of a little, a little cave back here so they can walk back in here. They can get up to their little pride rock up here. It's kind of hard to control. 
when you're inside these caves. But yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys get the point. It's kind of a staff access point away from all the people. It gives them a nice little spot to get away. We need to put some bedding down. So I guess we can, we can do that right now. But this should be a, a great source of, of, you know, hard shelter and stuff. Obviously, it, it really looks pretty good at the same time. So I'm going to set this up. Shoot. So we've got some bedding down here. I'm going to grab our terrain tool and just kind of try to, try to smooth this out a bit more. Definitely don't want it to be too steep for them. Something like that looks pretty good. And, you know, like I said, we could, we could kind of do like maybe some food in this area or something. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out. Obviously, we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves, but I mean, First and foremost, I think that just looks absolutely amazing. So that's pretty cool there. I mean, we're kind of a, about good to go. I guess we can bring these guys in here and just kind of see what they want and we'll work from there. I actually hired a new keeper here. What's uh, what's his name or her name? I don't really see a name. Cortez, what's up, brother? You've been hired. We have a brand new keeper here, obviously adding in a new exhibit. That's gonna come with a little bit more work. So we've we've got him and we need to, uh, we need to make sure, you guys know recently we set up the work zones and stuff. So Cortez. Um, we are going to select him. What is this going to be bears and ostriches? I believe and then we need to go into our bears and ostriches work zone and we're going to add the lions All right looks good to me. We could probably rename it to, to bears ostriches Lions Oop, my caps lock is on lions lions. There we go. All right, cool. We're good to go so that should be good, and um, I guess, you know, like I said, let's let's get these guys in here. I see him coming! Oh my goodness, dude, I'm so excited. Here we go, our first lions! Oh! Look at that majestic beast! Oh, I'm, dude, I'm honestly really, really excited about this. Oh, he loves it. Oh, he already loves it. Look at him, he's gonna go up to Pride Rock, there's no way. Could you ask for anything more perfect? No, go up to Pride Rock, buddy. Oh man, all right, we, we can't mess with them too much. We're definitely gonna watch them a little bit more later once we get the uh, the habitat built out. But for now, I wanna make sure that they're they're happy and healthy and that sort of thing. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is we are gonna come in, we're gonna have to do some vet research and we are gonna put our vets on the West African lion. We've got our best vet on that there. Everything else, I think we're all good to go. There's no other research we can do. All right, looks looks good to me. So let's see what we're working with. So for space, they've got plenty of space. Way more than they need, about 10 times that they need, but that's good. Could potentially lead to some issues where guests aren't gonna be able to see them, but I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, technically, we could really kind of cut off this whole half over here if we wanted. That actually might not be a bad idea. I don't want it to be too, too big, you know what I mean? So I, I think I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut that off. I actually have an even better idea. What if what if we did something like like this? Could be kind of interesting. So you have the, the top down view of these guys and then you come down around this way, kind of curve out, and then we've got a couple of spots for, for more uh, more exhibits in the future. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that idea and then you get kind of a double. You can look over one side and then look over the other side. Maybe we could do another like African themed one over here. So we've got the lions and then we've got the tigers, and then we've got the bears. Oh my, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But uh, yeah, I, I feel like that might be a little bit better. You just, you don't want it to be too big. I just, I'm, I'm worried people aren't gonna be able to see. And obviously that's kind of the, the point of us having lions. So I'm gonna set this up and we'll, we'll run a fence along here. This thing has taken many different forms so far today, but I kind of like it. I like that we're, we're working and, and, and being, malleable and, and flexible and we're gonna make the best uh, the best habitat we possibly can it's gonna be pretty cool so we've got this now let me see I mean we still we still have way more terrain than we actually need so it looks like they could use a little bit more grass a little bit more rock a lot less sand these guys like the big open plains so well uh, what we're gonna do is I'm thinking we're probably gonna have rock we're gonna have rock all all through here. You know, obviously that makes a bit of sense. We've got a ton of rock. So I'm gonna set rock up all throughout here. Looks looks pretty good. And then we can just go with some, some grass. So I'm gonna have lots of grass all through here. Looks good. All right, I guess we could paint the whole thing grass and then we'll add a little bit of lawn grass in where we see fit. We might add some water and stuff, so that'll be nice. I'm thinking maybe lawn grass over in this area. I feel would look pretty good. So I'm, I'm gonna put long grass over here. We'll probably end up putting a lake or something over here. It's got a lot of long grass there. Let's go ahead and reduce the intensity and kind of fade it into the short grass a little bit. And uh, boom, that's a 
pretty healthy looking habitat there. From a terrain standpoint, we're looking fantastic. Hard shelter, everything's good. All right, that's good to me. We're obviously gonna need some coverage here, so we want grassland and Africa. We also, I guess we could probably figure out if we wanna do some sort of a lake. I'm thinking a lake in this area. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think lions really have, like they, they might come across a watering hole, but it's not like they really have lakes and stuff. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm 100% sold on that. We're gonna have to think about it. We'll come back to it. We'll see if we can dress this up nice enough, but like, I mean, pretty much every habitat we've made so far has a little pond, and I do, I, I mean, it, it looks nice. I kind of like that. So I really, I don't, I don't want to go too, too crazy here. I'm not gonna, gonna make anything too large. That actually is probably too large right there. Let's, let's flatten this out to start. But, um, yeah, I, I, it's not like lions really have lakes and stuff. Like, I guess they can come across a little watering hole. I, I think the zoo looks nicer when you've got water in each of the, uh, each of the exhibits, but I also don't, I don't want to go too crazy like that. That might be a little bit big, but it's also kind of pretty. It's nice to have, so I guess we'll do it. The one problem we are going to run into is we're going to need a, a, a water purifier here. Actually, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a trouble at all. If we move it right here, it's going to get both the lions and the, um, the, the ostriches over here. So that's, that's going to be perfect. So we're going to set that up right like that. And then we need a, uh, we need a little little staff path to connect it. So that actually worked out pretty well for us. I'm even gonna set up the little little generator there too. And honestly, this, this section, we don't even need this. So let's come in and let's just delete this path back here. That is uh, no longer necessary. The grasslands of Africa, what do we have here? This is gonna be kind of fun. I really, um, I want one of those, where are those like umbrella looking trees? Is that, does that not count? Like th this thing, not that one. Uh, which one am I thinking of? This one. Yeah, umbrella thorn. It says grassland of Africa. I don't, I don't see it in here. I don't know why it's not showing up, but I'm just, I'm gonna steal it from over here. So I'm gonna set this guy up. I really like these trees. I just think they're so beautiful. So that's, that's really cool right there. Let me see what else we're working with. Do we have a weird filter or something on? I'm gonna reset all of our filters and we're gonna try it again. Yeah, it's just, it's just not showing up. Interesting. All right, we're just gonna have to work around it. Sounds good to me, but we're gonna set up some some nice little little flowers around the trees and stuff. This is gonna be nice. So we've got some flowers there. We should probably line these things with some flowers. Just make it look make it look nice. I don't know if it's too much to line this whole thing with them, but I, I think I'm gonna go for it. I think we have a lot of just like plain brown rock right now, and I feel like it'll be nice to uh, to add a little bit of color in there. We'll add some extra bushes and trees and stuff like that too. We have a, a fair amount of coverage to work with, but also not too much. So we just want to be careful, but I think this is going to look nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, cool. So we've got that. Let me see what else we can work with here. We've got a bunch of elephant grass and stuff. There are baobabs that we could throw in here. A few different types of baobabs. We've got these little candelabra trees. I feel like if we put some of these, like, let's add, let's add a little bit, a little bit to this, this thing. It's not going to be the traditional pride rock. We're going to, we're going to have our own little pride rock here, but just to, just to have, have a little bit of decoration to it. I don't think a baobab tree could actually grow out of a rock, but hey, it's going to look nice. Don't you worry. Got some little flowers on there in places too. Oh yeah, this is going to look great. Some nettle always looks nice. I'm going to try to not make it look too too uniform, you know what I mean? You don't want it to get too repetitive. You don't want to make it too symmetrical. Just kind of put these in, in random spots where it might potentially grow in the wild. And actually, oh, hold on. We do have, uh, let me let me check my, let me check my blueprints here. We've got some cool blueprints. So there's, we had one, I think I found one that said King of the Jungle. King of the Jungle sign. Hold on, let me see what this looks like. Bro. This would be sick up here. Are you kidding me? The king of the jungle. I love it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put this up here. Rather than putting it like across a, a walkway or something for people to walk under, we're just gonna put it up here. And then of course, we're gonna delete all the trees and stuff. Bam, look at that dude. King of the jungle, I love it. All right, so that's looking, that's looking pretty good. I feel like our pride rock is pretty nice there. I'm thinking maybe another little like hill with like a sunbathing spot over here maybe. And then we need to add like a couple of rocks around the pond and maybe some reeds and stuff, some elephant grass. So like 
We can kind of set up a, a little bit of elephant grass. We can grab um, the large savanna rocks. We can kind of put this, it's actually probably a little bit too big, but we could have something, I feel like maybe, maybe over here. I don't want to block people's view. Set that up on each each side kind of like that. Like that, that looks kind of nice. We could have another little, like maybe one of these guys sitting over here. And then, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to dress up lakes and stuff, but we're, we're gonna work on that. Let me let me get over here. I'm, I just, I'm, I'm so excited about this. I'm kind of having a hard time focusing. So I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna, we're gonna make them a nice little like lounging hill. I don't know, nothing nothing too crazy, just something we could put like a pre-scented snack or something up there just to give them a, a little bit, a little bit of a, a different type of terrain. So, uh, bam, all right, that looks pretty good. I think we could potentially kind of improve this lake a little bit. I'm gonna say let's, let's put some soil on the bottom of the lake. I just feel like that looks a little bit better. It's weird to have grass underwater like that. So I'm gonna put some soil down and then we're gonna blend that with uh, with the grass. Yeah, that definitely that definitely looks a little bit better there. I mean, I, I'm kind of happy with where we're at. Obviously, we're gonna have to add in some toys and all kinds of stuff like that, but we really, I mean, I don't, I don't think we have any research done yet. Let me see in Habitat. If we take a look at the uh, the West African lion here, I guess we do have some research based on other stuff that we know that they're gonna like. Okay, so that's good. So we've got lots of toys and stuff. I don't know why climbing stuff is is popping up, but I guess they they can climb. They might like to climb. A pinata, bro. I'm a hundred percent gonna put a pinata. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking we put like a little prey scented snack over here in the sun. Pinata. Can we put that up on top of Pride Rock? please. Or maybe, oh dude, no, we should, we should put the prey scented snack up on top of line pride rock. Cause then they're actually going to go up there. So that looks, that looks pretty good there. We could put the pinata over here in the sun. going to be kind of interesting. Little pinata set up. We're obviously going to need some food and water. So I'm going to get a, uh, a large food tray. Should we put it back here? I mean, it makes sense for them to be able to eat in private, but at the same time, well, I guess people honestly probably don't want to watch them eat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set this up here, set up right like that, and then we could set up uh, we could set up a, a drinking fountain out for people to be able to watch. Don't want to scar any children for life or anything. Watch them eat raw meat, but we can we can set them up with a nice little nice little water trough out here. Looks good to me. Is there anything else for enrichment that we think we want to do? I mean, we could definitely put out a, a nice little fire hose ball that they can play with. They might like a box because they're cats after all. A restraint feeder might be kind of interesting to, to watch them go at. So I'm gonna set this up over kind of in this this corner-ish. People can watch them go to town. Maybe if we set it, up, set it up like that, might be kind of interesting. So we've got that there. And I think, uh, I think we're gonna be looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit play. And let's watch what these guys do. Oh, our female is getting after it. Dude, I'm so excited. This is crazy. We better get some lion cubs. I'm going to be really upset if we don't end up with lion cubs. So the females out there, where's, where's big boy at? He's, he's just kind of exploring in here, hanging out. Let me see overall welfare. Nutrition can be better. We're going to get better as time goes on. Once we complete research, enrichment's hundred percent. Habitat's hundred percent. Social's hundred percent. People, people think the tickets are too, too inexpensive. So I'm going to go 40 bucks and 20 bucks. Looks good to me. We just had Jim's Bach die. Rest in peace. That makes me sad. We'll call the vet. Um, do we have two animals die? I don't know if the aardvark is stressed. I'm not worried about that. But I have some tortoises, some tortoise babies. But uh, where? Man, the lions are just kind of hanging out over. <laughs> He's so cute. What's up, buddy? Oh, my goodness. Look at that mane. I, I'm sorry I called you cute. You you look like the biggest, baddest killer of all time. Where's the female at? I hope they're not just gonna, gonna stay in here the whole time. Female's over here checking out her little, little pinata. You gonna play with the pinata? No? She's a little bit more active. She She's good, 99% welfare. All right, guys. I mean, we I think we kind of killed it here. This... This is a really good habitat. It is a little, it is a little barren, but like that's kind of what they come from. You know what I mean? Like they, they're used to living in the, the open plain grasslands. So they don't want too much coverage. They don't, I mean, let me see where our coverage is. 
Yeah, see, we're we're right on the the brim here of too much coverage, so I don't think um, I don't think we could really do any more. Dude, I'm loving how excited. Oh wow, look at that! Look at that! But yeah, I'm loving how excited she is, man. Like she is she is high on life right now. All right, what we're gonna do is we definitely need to set up some education and some some donation facilities here. So I'm gonna go with uh, we're gonna grab we're gonna grab the donation boxes most importantly. So I'm gonna throw down a donation box right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. Looks good. Then we can grab uh, we should grab some some African themed benches. And I mean, how how do we want to do this? I guess we can set up we can set up benches kind of in between every now and then. So set them up like this, and we could probably set one across from each other. I'm excited about this area here. This is going to be a cool couple of uh, cool couple of enclosures. Should uh, should be good. So we're going to set these up. We definitely want um, we definitely want some some bins set up as well. That's something that we've kind of been struggling with a little bit. So I'm going to make sure make sure that we're good on that front. So we'll set up two there, and then I'm thinking we have. Maybe a couple up here, or maybe, I guess we could, if we set them on each side, as people are going through, they should, should throw things away. So that looks pretty good right there. And then of course, we're going to need some of the education stuff. So let's come into, uh, to viewing devices. We're going to set up some TVs. I actually kind of like having the TVs behind the benches. Kind of an interesting, interesting way to do it, but it's going to be nice. So we're going to set these up on each of the benches. Going to set all these up on the, uh, the West African line. Are they... Powered? I don't know. This one on the far end is just out of the range of power. I guess what we could do is is grab this guy and move it. If we move it back a couple, that should be good. And yeah, it looks like he's powered now. Alright, looks good to me. So we're gonna set all these TVs and then we're gonna place down a couple of, of listening devices and we should be good. Shoot, as it turns out, every single one of these are, are out of range as well. That hurts. We're definitely gonna have to figure out something with that at some point. But I guess for right now, we're gonna be okay. So we're gonna come in, final thing. We want some educational speakers, even though a lot of these, nobody's even gonna be able to hear them. All right, and with that, I think, I think we might be good. I, I, I don't know, ooh, here we go. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, please, please just go for it. You see that good looking female right there? Please, dude. We blew pretty much all of our conservation credits. You guys can see, I guess we have 539 left. So that's not bad, but it took us a long time to, to build up those 4,000 that we used to buy these guys. So we really need the two of these to go at it. We, we, like, we need babies. We need to, to be able to keep some for future generations and, and future decades and, and be able to kind of re repopulate our... Um, or exhibit as time goes on, but we also need some that if we could sell lion babies for a thousand conservation credits, these guys should pay us back pretty quickly. We just uh, we just kind of need them to get to work. So I guess we'll see what happens. Eventually, we might end up trying to buy another female or two. They are promiscuous. They aren't, you know, monogamous. They're going to be able to go around. He's going to go to town. He's, he could, you know, kind of have babies with a lot of them, and that's kind of. Um, that's kind of kind of where we're at. That's kind of what we're hoping for. So I guess we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. One thing I would kind of like to do, so if we go back to the animal trading, and obviously we're not going to be able to do it yet, but if we go back to our market, obviously there are some uh, some albino lions, which would be really, really interesting, and, and we can't have them together with these guys because you can't have two males together, but eventually we could build a second lion habitat and, uh, oh, Good work, brother. Nice job. But yeah, eventually we could set up a second lion habitat and have one of like, you know, normal, healthy West African lions, and then we could have the crazy albino ones, which could be kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to see you guys in the next episode. We are going to take on the next challenge. We are going to add more animals to our zoo, dude. I'm, I'm honestly just so happy with how this is coming along. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Peace out.